Hey, what's up everybody? It's Nick and Rich on Polywog here. Uh, today we're reviewing the JS Psycho Nitro in Hi-Fi. So um, yeah, I think a lot of people sort of are a bit curious with regards to all the, the EPS technologies and that. So Rich, give us a little more insight into the Hi-Fi from JS. Cool, so yeah, man, we've been lucky enough. We, we, we started bringing in the JS's um, not last year, the year before. Um, we, were, we were obviously super excited at, at, at the opportunity and um, yeah, you know, we'd, we'd seen a lot about the half our construction. We sort of hadn't physically seen the board, you know, and I, I, mm. gosh, I'll never forget when the first lot kind of landed, man, they, um, and unpacking them, just, you know, they, they come in big boxes, sort of 10 at a time, so you, you know, you unpack the box, take the 10 out, then, and, you know, individually unpack each of them. And gosh, uh, the first thing that struck me about the half hour construction is the quality. I mean, the, yeah. the quality of these boards, I cannot explain to you. I mean, the, oh, I know all about it. I've got three. <laughs> okay, well, so yeah. you know, you know, I mean, the, 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 the Diamond mesh, the cloth that they're using, yeah. the finishes around the, the, the leash plug, the finishes on the tail. Um, yeah, everything is exquisite and immaculate. And um, yeah, so for me, you know, having ridden a lot of the EPS that is yet locally produced here in South Africa, I mean, I was mm. champing at the bit to, to try the half hour construction because it differs in many respects you know so yeah, yeah. has has their own version of uh, a stringer which they mm -hmm. call a, a hybrid fiber yeah so it runs it runs a, a certain portion of the board all the way to the nose mm. so again this is giving you your your stringer effect uh, effect and it and it's helping to to control the the flex mm. um and then what they've done, interestingly enough, is that they've, they, they have these other two carbon sort of strips at, on, mm. on the bottom. So what was really interesting for me was what this particular construction does is it takes that very sort of radical flex of, EPX, of, of EPS and it, and it really controls it. Yeah. So yeah. what's really nice about this construction and been lucky enough to ride a lot of the different JS models. Um, this mm. Psycho Knight definitely being one of my favorites. Um, yeah. You know, they've, they've, they, 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 the half bar construction, the board sits really nice on the water. You know, yeah. like when you, when you pedal into a wave and you stand up, you know, you, it's, it's a pretty surreal feeling. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, you're not losing any ability to bury the rail and put the board in, but it, but you're sitting like nice and yeah. Proud, you know, it's like yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, I know from from my my boards in the hi-fi. I mean, the two two things that I've really noticed is that with a lot of epoxy boards, the the rails tend to ding quite easily. But on the JSs, you notice that like hex um, cloth that they're using just wraps up over the rails, and it just seems to make those rails quite quite strong and sturdy. But and then, yeah, like you said, in terms of the way the board sits on the wave, um, you almost think it'd be difficult to like bury a rail, but yeah, JS has just got that sort of flex and the, the, the construction and the, the, way the, the way the layout is, it's just quite unique. I mean, you know, we're looking at those stringers that run sort of like four fifths of the way along the board. Um, you know, obviously that's to stiffen up the rest of the board, but then in the tail, that doesn't continue through the tail because obviously the, the fin boxes add that stiffness. So it just gives a real sort of consistent flex throughout the whole length of the board. And I think that's something quite unique. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, it gives like this Psycho Nitro in particular, like it's got a lot of pop, you know? Yeah. Like you can feel it. So it's, it's really cool. I mean, like almost hovercraft type effect, like you, you see yeah. on top of the wave, but when you, want to lean into something and put it on the rail gosh it just yeah 
slides in and it holds. Eh? I mean, this board yeah. really blew me away from a whole perspective. I mean, if you look at this thing, the deck is as flat as a yeah. can. So, yeah, I mean, you know, there's, there's a lot of foam. There's a lot of foam hiding in here. I mean, this thing is 5.5, 5, 29.3 liters. Um, yeah. So, in actual fact, it's a whole point, 1.3 liters extra volume to what I'm normally riding. Mm. My regular four boards, which are either five, which are generally five, eight. So yeah. This thing's inches shorter, but it's got a lot of foam. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I found this board, again, you know, we, we've got the five, we got the five fin, you know, we've got five plugs here, FCS2. Um, which, gosh, the most amazing thing about this board is that it's just you now all of a sudden with this. Yeah, got, it's just it super, super versatile. Board? Super versatile. I mean, you look at the at the concave in this thing. This thing has got a giant single concave from about mm. here. It runs all the way through light, going into light double on the tail section here. So. I've ridden this board first as a thruster. Yeah. My go-to fin, AM2 large. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Um, to be honest, I would have just kept riding it as a, as a, as a thruster because it felt so good. But yeah. I'm always mindful that I need to try different stuff so that I can mm -hmm. feed back. And, and so gave it a burn as a, um, as a quad again. The two AM2s up front and then and, and the quad rears for, for that match the AM2. Uh, yeah. yeah, the feel was unbelievable. Um, and yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised. It uh, gave me that sort of same effect and feel as 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 the havoc when I when I surf as a quad. Yeah. It didn't lose any of that verticalness, which you can sometimes do with a quad, because yeah, quad yeah. Is like very vertical. Mm. But yeah, man, this thing just really lit up. up, and then um, yeah, yeah dude, then yeah, we man. Tried it, uh, as a twin fin with a trailer. Yeah, the uh, the MR twos, the the yeah. multicolored one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The trailer, of <laughs> course. Yeah, and game changer. Uh, Lives. Yeah, one of the things I noticed when I when I surfed that, um, you know, JS uh, Jason Stevenson said that he he sort of pulled the tail in on that board um, with and then added the swallow because the previous version, um, you know, had a considerably wider tail. So what he did there was pulled the tail in so that that board because a lot of people are quite hesitant with these like small wave grovelers that they they tend not to not to perform in like, a, like when a wave gets a little bit better. Um, so based on what Jason had said, what he'd done with that, pulled that tail in, given it that swallow tail, so obviously it's a nice rail-to-rail -rail feel, but sitting in the pocket and in like a really round, bowly wave, um, that works. So what I did, I actually put in the JW, uh, Julian Wilson medium, uh, sort of quite a, quite a stiff fin, generally not a fin you would put in a board like that, but, you know, and it was one, one day, it was just really hollow, four foot, sort of thick beachy, um ass and that board just went so well it's just mind-blowing how a board that's made for like sort of one to maybe four foot slop just carried on going three to five foot pretty solid oh man it makes perfect sense to me because you know if a board's can i go that good in crap waves yeah <laughs> it, it should really be able to up its game as the waves get better mm. And yeah, I mean that particularly with the JSs, that's one thing that I've really noticed. It's like yeah. You know, especially when you look at the performance board. I mean this is a this is more of a fun board, but the performance boards, the monster box, uh, monster black box three, it's like yeah. the better the waves what, the better the boards went. Yeah. I mean this thing this, this this thing is doing the same kind of thing. I mean yeah. as a quad how hard you can push this thing in a in a in a in a, in a solid size wave mm. and the fact that it just bites and won't let go is flipping amazing yeah you know you, you know we've mentioned before hey 
really mindful and understanding that not everybody can have 10, 20, 30, 40 boards in their quiver. Yeah. Um, but you know what this little baby does is, gosh, it, it literally one board giving you three, yeah, three giving, you, boards giving you three boards. You got two or three different fin, fin sets. You got the quad, the, the, like you said, the MR2s, wow. that plus one and a decent thruster set, yeah. maybe two. You know, something more flexible and then maybe a stiffer, another stiffer set. Yeah. 100%. Was, I mean, you know, it, it, we've, <laughs> over the years, I mean, we've, we've sold a lot of sort of top end boards, you know, and it's been, yeah. I mean, in some instances, it's been devastating <laughs> to have customers call back and go, oh, um, you know about this board it's, oh gosh you know, it was 11 and a half grand and it doesn't yeah. go so well you know, and we i mean those are those are horrible calls because it's a lot of money yeah for sure but, you know we're always mindful and thankfully we understand a lot about product we understand a lot about fins and i've always my first question to people that feed back to me on that issue is like what fin have you been on? Yeah. And then they tell me, I'm like, okay, that's the problem right there. Yeah, exactly. Get another fin and all of a sudden the 11 and a half grand is now the best board they've ever had. Yeah. And, and that's how it should be, you know? So Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, this thing, if, if you want to get one board and... Yeah, well, I'd say that's hands down the most versatile board I've ever surfed. Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, like, then you can, you know, then you can almost justify the spin. Uh, yeah. Again, you know, you, you touched earlier on the quality of the construction. I mean, I'm a savage on boards. You can see that I've, I've, made, the foot well, I've made the foot well there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I mean, I gauge on, on, on how much I move my back foot. And here it's quite significant. So I'm moving mm. my back foot all the way from, from literally here to here. Yeah. Um, across a variety of waves. I mean, that, that's just a testament to, to what, what the board can do and how versatile it is. Yeah, and how it responds, how it responds to sort of your movements and, yeah. Exactly. And again, just, you know, touching on the construction, yeah, it's a lot of money, but you know, this board, it's gonna give you a lot of season. Yeah, you, you, get, season. you get what you pay for kind of thing, eh? Yeah, for sure. You, it, you know, it, and, Again, I guess what a lot of people don't under, don't really know, unless they are board freaks and they're researching and and mm. living boards daily, like like we are. A lot of the top EPS board brands globally are all produced in the same factory. Yeah, it happens to be a factory in Thailand that produces not only JS but it produces Hayden shapes, it produces Slater designs, Tomo, Firewire. Um, DHT, yeah. so it, it's actually quite interesting. But you know, one thing is evidently clear is that this factory knows how to make quality boards. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, man. Out of the out of the yeah, certain amount of board we brought in. I mean, we've yeah, we've we've had very few comebacks um, that relate to general surfing wear and tear, you know? Mm. The only issues we've had have been freight issues, which yeah. is not, you know, damage as a, as a result of not surfing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, always mindful that the price mm. ticket is, is, is significant. Mm. I mean, these are 11 and a half grand. Mm. They're definitely not the most expensive um, EPSs around. Uh, a couple of the other brands are pushing the envelope a little bit. So this yeah. is all, no, in my, in my mm. mind, decent value for money. Uh, like I said, knowing that you're going to get three seasons out of the thing. You know? Yeah. Um, it, it's a board that can live in your quiver for a very, very long time. Mm. Uh, no, and it's not something you get bored of either. Like you don't, it's, you know, it's not, not a board you think, oh, I'm going to surf something different today because you just want to go surf yeah. that thing, you know, just change the fins and away you go. There it is. You've, you've hit the nail on the head, you know. It's like, she's dude. Change is as good as a holiday, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just stay sharp. Yeah. Slap in a yeah. different set of things and, and, and away you go, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think a lot of people, you know, they, they hear boards off oh, eleven and a half grand, but then, you know, you think, well, okay, I'll buy a board that's eight grand and I can get maybe two boards and spend a little bit more. But if you've got a board that's eleven and a half grand and three sets of fins, 
all of a sudden, you know, you've got better, better value for money and a lot more versatility. For sure. And I mean, just, just on that point, I mean, let's take one very key and important fact into consideration mm. is paper like JS is making and producing these balls with inputs and feedback from the very best surfers in the world. Mm. You know what? Let's not kid ourselves. Those guys can pick up differences in volume. They can, they can, yeah. you know, guys that are in tune with their, with their, with their equipment can pick up all sorts of subtleties. And I mean, yeah, that level of detail is going into these boards for us all day, everyday surfers. Yeah. Of varying skill level. Mm. But we have the benefit of like triple A grade R and D that is going into these things. Yeah. And you know what? We can get a bunch, you know, like South Africa's got a bunch of amazing shapers. I mean, you know, I've been lucky enough to, to ride a lot of guy, of different guys' boards and you know, there's there's not a shadow of a doubt that they that they are good shapers and that they can shape and that their boards go. But you know, the, the, the level of detail and, 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 and sort of precision these, these the, some of the local guys don't you know, they don't have the luxury of time and resource and they're not mm. a big global brand no. the kind of money that these I don't have the, they don't have the like pro surfer feedback yeah the subtle tweaks here and there where like you know JS Julian Wilson yeah. Jack Robinson you know these guys come out the water with the with the prototype and say, yeah, that's cool, but you know, let's tuck the rail a little bit more over here or there and see what, see what no, the outcome I mean, is. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, something that, that guys probably need to consider is, you know, that point, that, that point particularly, like yeah. for, for what you're getting out of this thing, you know, it's, it's, Gosh, the likes of Parker, Julian Wilson, Ryan Callanan, you know, that, I mean, yeah. all the top boys have written this stuff and they've, you know, they've yeah. given input and feedback and, and, and that's what makes these boards so good. The fact yeah. that yeah. the finish and the construction is exquisite, I mean, it's, in, in, in my opinion, and I'm yeah. always mindful, <clears> because <throat> yeah. um, we have to sell them. Oh, oh yeah, sick. So that's them. the uh, JS Psycho Nitro Hi-Fi. That particular one's a five five twenty nine liter. Yep, that's it. Sick. So it's five five nineteen and three quarters, two and a half, which gives you twenty nine point three. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like, Ooh. hey, if you've got an open mind and you've got the budget, mm. you can put a board and add a board to your quiver, which is. Pretty much yeah. equivalent to three or four other boards, you know. And I think the nice thing is with the with the high file EPS construction, there is a little bit more sort of uh, float in the board, so you can ride a board that may be a little bit smaller. Um, so you do get that more performance element from the board without the losing the paddle, like that that sort of volume, the benefits of the, of a board with more volume. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, <laughs> this thing's three inches smaller than my regular performance board. And it pedals better. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, man. If you want to add a, a little pocket rocket and uh, some spice to your life and up <laughs> the stroke levels, the JS Psycho Nitro. Nitro. Add it to the add it to your list of considerations. Start See, saving for Christmas, kids. <laughs> there we go. Cool. All right, Rich. Shot, mate. All right. Cheers.